New York City considers banning jumbo size popcorn and shake. What? Will there be a limit on how many of the smaller sizes one can purchase? And this is insane. Fighting obesity. <laughs> yeah, right. I bet the sellers just love this idea. Why, you ask? Because this means instead of a family sharing a jumbo popcorn or one person devouring it all for themselves, paying around eight or nine bucks, they would just buy a couple of the large buckets at six or seven bucks each. <laughs> they really care. This is the world we live in. A world where people eat each other's faces off, eat their roommates' brains and hearts, eat mercury, high, 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 frictus corn syrup, RBG. H MSG, pesticides, pharmaceutical residues, sodium fluoride, breathing in the fresh aroma of all the waste that we create. But they want to ban supersized soda, popcorn, and shakes. Come on, man. And they're doing it because they care. On a side note, I'm putting a link in the video description to an educational graphic that I suggest for all the Bilderberg deniers out there that illustrates why it is a big deal and why it would never be ignored by the mainstream media unless they were ordered to stand down guarantee Obama administration to stop deporting some immigrants even though it's against the law I bet they did they don't even care if it's struck down later it's more votes now just like the gay marriage thing more 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 votes do you really think these geezers really care about those issues they just want that vote it's a fact accept this so we can move forward to a solution ignoring that broken car in the backyard isn't a form of repair people and yes I I know it's all fixed in their favor, but you have to make it look good, and that has always been to our advantage. But even that's eroding as they seem to not even care anymore about their shenanigans being laid out for the world to see. They've gotten sloppier and sloppier and sloppier at their presentation because they don't even care anymore. The laws they've been passing, executive orders signed, signing statements added, they have weaseled their way into every aspect of our lives, all in the name of knowing better than us what's best for us. <laughs> We let them with little resistance because we are a country where 20% of us think the sun revolves around the earth. Which is probably because we believe the world revolves around us. Yep. I'm gonna say, Rand Paul is a turd. <laughs> Playing politics. He's playing politics. He's playing politics. Change the channel. And our new inductee into the flip flop toilet bowl of shame is Rand Paul. Romney. Obama. Romney. Obama. Two flip flops in their own respects. And money flying all over the place. C packs are living large. Yes, we can. If only these wings put as much effort into fixing our economy as they do in raising money and clapping the pie holes with nothing coming out but campaign promises. AKA Lies. What do you want? Change your channel four more like the last four? The Lancer of Two Evils. It's still an evil fool. That is what your vote has become. And you accept it, rationalize it, cultivate it, regurgitate it, and defend it truly believing that it's a means to an end. Well, we have to support our team. It's not your team, people. It's theirs. And they're riding it for all this work. Just face it, nothing, I mean nothing, will ever, ever be fixed as long as the kingpin turns to getting paid for it being broke. Do you think money just disappears? That when people lose money in the stock market, it just vanishes. You ever notice no matter what happens on this planet, one thing is a fact. Someone's getting paid from it. And it's always, always the same turds. Decade after decade after decade. The same people, same family and friends who own everything. Plotting, planning, scheming and scamming 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And nobody notices. Get them, Bruce. <laughs> It's something to think about. I'm changed the channel. And, and, and. I'm out.